Roddy Nation TV. Welcome back to the channel. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. Now today, uh, over in uh, Kabul, is it Kabul or is it Kabul? Kabul, Afghanistan. It was 12 U.S. troops, man, was killed today. You know, there was two suicide bombings that hit the Hamid Karzai International Airport. Now, they're saying that um, one of the bombs went off at the Abbey Gate, which was followed by another bomb going off by the Baran Hotel, which was like, you know, right, like kind of like right next to the Abbey Gate. It said, you know, two suicide bombers, well, one suicide bomber came and, and, and blasted into the gate and the bomb blew up. And then the other one hit the, the Baran Hotel and it blew up. And then after it blew up, some gunmen came and started shooting into the crowd. So they did a little more than just a suicide bombing. They did some extra shit and just started shooting into the crowd. And then, unfortunately, we lost uh, 12 of our U.S. service members, you know, doing, you know, because they trying to evacuate all, you know, all those people from over there. You know, some of the Afghanistan people that helped the U.S. servicemen while they've been there. You know, we've been over there for like like 20 years fighting, you know, a so-called war. To me, it's like a war that's unseen because we didn't, we ain't really get a chance to see it like we seen the war over in Iraq. I, I You know, I got vivid memories of... Um, you know, the firefights at night that they had on the TV screen that they were having over in Iraq. But for this war right here, you get some little clips of it, but you don't, not like it was in Iraq. It's kind of like, like, to me, I'm like, what the hell is they doing over there? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they've been over there for almost 20 years and they're trying to get up out of there. Now, President Biden, he came on the air like after this uh, attack happened, this attack happened, and he vowed to hunt down and, 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 and make them pay. And so far, for what we know, it's like 15 U.S. troops were injured. And like I said, they said it was uh, 12 U.S. Marines, I mean, 11 U.S. Marines and one Navy medic, 60 Afghans and were killed, civilians, and 140 of them were injured. So, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, they, they couldn't just get, get out, of, out of that country safely, that these people had to go do something heinous like this before, you know, we got all our American people out there and all those uh, Afghan citizens that helped us. Because they deserve to come over here, you know, because their family will be, you know, in danger, you know what I'm saying? If they were to be left behind and find out that they were helping the Americans, you know, you know. And you know what they do, man. The first thing they do, man, they'll, they'll cut those people's heads off, bro. I hate to say it and be so graphic about it, but that's a exactly what they'll do you know what i'm saying but uh hopefully we can uh you know we got like and it's unfortunate my condolences go out to to uh to our military to those 12 service members yo those are they most likely there's some they, they're probably young 20s i'm not sure i don't got any names or or, or or ages yet you know and those numbers are subject to change you know that's what we know right now those numbers are subject to change you know some more people could could pass away overnight you know some of the more critically in, uh wounded you know so the numbers right now stands at 12 u.s service service members you know 60 afghan c civilians and you know they say 15 of our service members are wounded and you know 140 uh, Afghan civilians are wounded. And, you know, like I said, that those numbers are subject to change. You know, and I don't know. I, I'm not going to say, you know, get into it whether I agree with, you know, the our, our foreign policy, you know, and some of the things we do in these other countries. But what I will say, we have to stand behind our military regardless because, you know, they, the, the, you know, the average, um, you know, soldier, he don't make you no know, these kind of type of decisions. He signed up and put the uniform on and he do what he's told. So like I say, my, my condolences go out to the family. Condolences go out to those Afghan civilians. Hopefully we can get those people out of there, get our people out of there and get a safe return back to the U.S. And, um, you know, if Biden's going to make those people hunt them down and make those people pay, I'm all with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm all with that. We, You know, that's, that, that's heinous. You know what I'm saying? It's cowardice. At, at, you know, cowardice. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we, we, we don't get down like that. I, that's just cowardice. Rowdy Nation TV, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. We out.